His comedy is cerebral, but you'd better get it on the first try or you will hear about it. You got to think on some of these jokes, sir. They're not giveaways. Just think a little, you'll get them. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. Our host Veronica went to Just for Last this year where she spoke with comedian Modi. In your comedy, you make us realize how funny and ridiculous everyday life can be. But having that and always seeing that, is it ever a burden? No, it's a, it's not a burden. It's a uh, it's what I do. I enjoy it. It's it's it, there's like a need in me for it to come out. Has it ever gotten you in trouble? Yes and no. Like once in a while, you do something, you get a little trouble in trouble for it. But end up that press is good for you. It gets more people to come and see it. You remember when airlines had people buy two seats if they were too big? Uh -huh. I did a, a joke about it and there was a woman in the audience who is from the league of people that look out for, for, for big people and she made a big stink about it. There was a big write up in the post about it and the post called me and then the post called back to her and there was a whole, back, and it got a lot of tickets sold for my shows so I didn't give a good damn about it, you know. You gotta be careful with the Muhammad jokes though. They get very touchy. You look a little Mohammedy, sir, no? <laughs> they get very touchy. They burnt down half of Europe because of one cartoon about Mohammed. Do you remember this? And we're Jewish, we don't get it. When you're Jewish every single day, some paper has a picture of Moses going down the mountain with bags of money and a big hook nose. But do we go around burning buildings? No. You buy the building. <laughs> You change the zoning laws and you sell it for five times the value. Now you majored in psychology and minored in vocals. Can you give us a little demo of what you learned? And apparently you were a cantor? When I was in college, I used to get jobs uh, being a... Uh, uh, leading the service, like the Jewish s service. And you know, for a guy who just leads the service, they gave a hundred bucks. But for a cantor, they gave 500. So I said, I'm a cantor. And I took a few voice lessons with some electives I had, and one thing led to another. I got a scholarship to the Bell School of Music in New York, and uh, I still do it. I still love it. Hey, you're full of hidden talents. You actually were part of the fashion police for U.S. Weekly? Wow, you really just haven't stopped the research. You're a grown man. Put a pair of pants on. His wife, I told you. Yeah, believe it or not, I was on the fashion police. And it's funny because now I'm actually doing a movie about the fashion industry. How did you get that gig? I think they were more uh, looking for the, the jab than the style. <laughs> and I had the jab for sure. Now, are there any other hidden talents that you're hiding from us? I'm an amazing lover. Well, thank you so much. It's so great to have you. It's so good to be here. Really? I'm not making, it's really good to be here. Oh my God. No, no, seriously, it's good to be here. Thank God we're here. <laughs>